this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review. I hope you're all well. Uh, today's video, I'm just going to show you how you can show and hide properties from a slider in Power Apps, just being slidden on and off. So you slide it on, it'll show something. You slide it off, it'll hide something. So let's just get straight into it. So as you can see, I've got a Power Apps canvas. Just created a new one here. Um, and I will just insert a toggle. This will also just work with a checkbox. Um, but what we want to do is say, for example, you're building your app and you've got a toggle where it's like, yep, on off. When they select on, you want a loads of stuff to show. When they select off, you want all that stuff to be hidden. So what we want to do, I'm just going to insert some labels here. And we'll just put hello. I'll just put another one saying, I like pizza. I love pizza. Um, okay, so there we've got our labels there. So what we want to do is with this toggle one, we want to set the visibility properties of these two to show where to show only show when it's switched on and to be hidden when it's switched off. So what we want to do is we want to click the label or whatever that you want to show hide. And if you go to the visible property, click visible here, and that'll be default selected to true. Now what we want to do is we want to delete that, and then if we put if and then we refer to whatever it is that we want to show. For our case, this is toggle one. So I'll say if toggle one dot value. So if the value of toggle one is equal to true, then the visibility should be true. Else the visibility should be false. Now there's a million ways you could change this, you know. If the toggle dot value equal false, then you want it to be false else true. This all just depends on your certain situation. What does you want as that end default default value? Um, but now basically I'll just put that, I'll just copy that for the other one as well. So I just want to show you this as well. Visible. Okay, so now you can see that that's switched off. So now if I switch that on, both of those will show. And there he is, so that's how easy it is. So Literally, you use your if statement if the toggle value equals true. So again, just, just as well, even though this does say on and off with these sort of Boolean values, your, your checkboxes or your toggles, it's true or false values. So, so yep, if the toggle one dot value is true, we want to show our visibility to be true. Else, anything else, if it's not true, we want it to be false. We want it to be hidden. Same with this one. So again, I'll just show you that again. Switch off, they'll be hidden. Switch on, and there they show. So... There you can see. I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Put any comments in if you want to see any different videos or if there's any sort of changes that you want to be done to this. Just just put into the comments. We'll get back to you. We do answer our questions. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. Take care. Mm -hmm.